today on Personal Injury Court. I heard this loud <laughs> The horse completely bolted and it threw me on the ground. This is a three foot jump. Oh. And back going to you. Forward. Being thrown from that horse? Ms. Robinson signed a waiver of liability. You're asking this court to give you a total of $90,000. Yes, Your Honor. Let me give you a legal it. lesson. Well, the I think waiver it's means significantly nothing. Enough the time. waiver, no, you are true. You're right. That's not true. We're going to have order in this court. Somebody's going to jail today if you all don't let me get to the point. Judge Gino Brogdon spent 10 years on the bench ruling on cases worth billions of dollars. Now he presides over some of the largest claims in TV history. This is Personal Injury Court. Good day, everyone. This is the matter of Robinson versus Connolly. Ms. Robinson, it's my understanding that you are suing Mrs. Connolly for severe injuries you sustained when you were thrown from a horse at her horse farm, her stable. You're asking this court to award you $35,000 for past medical costs, $5,000 for future medical costs, and $50,000 for pain and suffering for a total of $90,000. Is that correct? Yes, Your Honor. And Ms. Connolly, it is your position that she's an experienced rider, horses throw you, and she got what she came there for. Well, yes, Your okay. Honor. Okay, thank you, ma'am. Now let's get into the legal sauce. Tell me about you and horses. I'm a CPA by day. What's that I'm an, mean? I'm an accountant. Okay. And I thought I, that had to do with horses. <laughs> well, I, since a young age, I've always had a love for horses, and I dreamed of being a rider. So about four years ago, I picked up riding, and it's like something that makes me feel like I can escape from all the stress from work, and it's like something that I just am so passionate about. Sounds like horses yeah. have been kind of a lifelong dream for you. Yes. Now, I imagine, Ms. Yeah. Connolly, that you also are a horse lover. Oh, I mean, yes. you, you run a stable, right? Yes, Your Honor. Yes, I have been the owner and operator of Conley's Corral and Stable for the past 15 years. We have an award-winning lesson And program. I'm an experienced rider. Yes. I've been riding for four years. I know how to trot. Yes. I know how to change diagonals. Yes. I know how to Ms. canter. Ms. Robinson has lead. been riding for a total of four years. That yes. Hardly now, that would you, would you call four rider. years of riding experience? No. New I would not. Okay. No, sir, I would not. Four years of riding is experience, and I've practiced twice a week for the past two years. Tell me about the day that you were injured. What happened? So I talked with my trainer, and um, we decided that it was time for us to I think amp you it up were the one level. who decided that and you wanted to start I just start want to jumping. figure out what happened. <laughs> so, yeah, I'm, go I'm okay. going to get to you. I promise. I'm sorry, Your Honor. I promise. I'm sorry. So, like I was saying, we talked and it was time for me to move on to jumping because I know all the fundamentals. Let's take it to the next level and I was excited What were you for moving that. on from? What what kind of activities were you doing with the Dressage horse? Dressage and equitation on the flat. So, I actually did um, some competitions where in one of the shows I placed second. So, that shows that I'm an experienced rider and I have control of the horse. So you've done some activities, and now you're headed toward the jumping. Jumping, yes. So I was going up to the second jump, and the horse completely bolted and, and got spooked by something, and it threw me on the ground, and I wrapped, it wrapped my whole body by, around by the spook. pole. What spooked the horse? Well, this time my trainer bolted out of the arena um, with no notice, and he just I'm, left. I'm sorry. So you sorry, blame Your Honor, so you blame Miss Connolly for the trainer leaving? Yes, Your Honor, it's that is not true. Negligence. Miss Connolly, do you remember this incident? Yes, I do, Your Honor. What What do you okay. remember happened? All right. I was in the front office at the time the accident occurred. I did not actually witness it firsthand, although I have seen the video. And I heard chaos, I heard screaming, I heard someone saying that a rider had fallen, and I, I told my assistant to call 911. We acted right immediately, away. immediately. And then I left the office, I ran to the horse arena, to the riding arena, I saw Christine on the ground. Now, Miss Robinson, you obviously you're I, thrown from the horse. You end up on the ground. You realize that that you were severely injured at that point. Yes. Both of you actually mentioned that there was some kind of video. Yeah, yeah, there is a video. Could you step over to the monitor and explain the video? Sure. This is a video of the actual incident. So these are cross poles. These are more of a beginner jump, and this is a three-foot jump. Oh. 
And you can see that I had both my legs. When you're going over a jump, you have to keep your legs on the horse to meet and that's going you forward. Being yeah. thrown from that horse? I couldn't even move. Let's roll that back. I want to take a look at this in slow motion so I can see exactly what happened. Now, please tell me what's going through your mind. I'm having a great setup for the jump. I'm in the center line. I'm ready to go. Okay. And then you can see all of a sudden the horse just jets and throws me over. So once the horse turned like that, you're you realize under, something had gone very under. wrong. I, there's she no sees way for one me to thing get back and I see another. Saddle. You may go back to your podium. Thank you. Ms. Connolly, you see that video, right? Yes, I've seen the that, video. That's not the I've way this is supposed to work. Listen to me. That's not the way this is supposed to work, right? No, but falling off a horse is an inherent risk in riding horses. It so she, she kind of got what she... Uh... No, it's not. I'm not saying that at all. Because I'm getting that flavor from No, it. Your Honor, I'm not saying that at all. Okay, tell me what you're saying. All I'm saying is that falling is an inherent risk in riding a horse. It's part and parcel of the sport. Now, Ms. You, Robinson says that the horse got spooked by your horse, trainer running away. Uh, we don't know why the horse veered off in another direction. There are multiple reasons this could have happened. Horses, horses can Could react. your trainer running away spook the horse? Most likely not. Most likely not. But, but horses can be startled and can react in all kinds of unpredictable ways. Horses, Miss... Is that something Ms. she should Robinson, anticipate? Yes, That the horse absolutely. can be startled? Absolutely. Coming up... I have pins and needles in my shoulder and arm. I broke multiple bones. Oh, both understand a waiver is a legal document, yes. right? Yes, Your Honor. And Ms. She, Robinson, uh, she you see this... signed and initialed this waiver. And if that is the case, Ms. Robinson, then you're bound by that document. Yeah. Ms. Robinson, is that your signature? A horse got spooked by something, and it threw me on the ground. What spooked the horse this day? My trainer bolted out of the arena um, with no notice, and he just I'm, left. I'm sorry. You blame Ms. Connolly for the trainer leaving. Yes. Ms. Robinson signed a waiver of liability that indemnified the stable and her trainer. So, Ms. Robinson, all... do you remember signing a waiver? Yes, Your Honor. I, I have the waiver them. here, now, Your Honor. Now, y'all say a waiver. Uh, Sheriff Matt, will you get the uh, I document have copies from of the Ms. documentation Conley? and all the required paperwork. Let me take a look at this waiver. Now, y'all both understand a waiver is a legal document, yes. right? Yes, yes, Your Honor. And Ms. She, Robinson, uh, she you see this? She signed and initialed this waiver, Your Ms. Honor. Ms. Robinson, do you see your signature on there? Is that your signature? Yes, Your Honor. Okay, so you signed this. Did you did you read this? Yes, Your Honor. Because the law requires that whatever you sign, especially a waiver, because you release them from responsibility, you got to read it first. You I, read it first? I understand, Your Honor. Yes, I did read it, and I. It states that you must be in control at all times, and I was in control at all times. And it's well, let me, let me read this section. Acknowledge that horseback riding is an inherently dangerous activity and involves risks that may cause serious injury and, in some cases, death. Yes. Yes, Your Honor. That is correct. You, kn you knew that, Ms. Robinson? I was honestly not given enough time to sign no, the waiver. No, I'm, I'm sorry. We've had, we had now, Ms. multiple... Ms. You God, know how I talked Your about... Honor, Your Honor, we had multiple conversations. She understood... Now, you do understand, saying. you do understand yes. that the law requires when you give someone a waiver, you got to give them time to look at no, it. No, I just arrived yes. and they said... Let me give you a legal it. lesson. Well, If you give her this waiver yes. and she signs it, and you don't give her enough time to Your review Honor, the waiver, the I waiver means nothing. Enough the time. waiver, no, you are true. You're right. That's not true. We're going to have I'm order sorry. in this court. I'm sorry, you're Now, Ms. Conley, at every time that I try to make a point with you, you seem to think that what you say is more important than what I say. I'm and sorry. And that cannot be in this court. I'm sorry, Your Honor. So, when you have her sign a waiver, you are to give her time. The law requires that. I understand. Otherwise, the waiver means nothing. Yes, Your Honor. I even do. though she signed it. You understand that? Yes, Your Honor. Next. I broke multiple bones. There's screws in my arm. I can barely go to work. I don't know how I'm going to do this. Miss Robinson, you actually blame the trainer for running away. Exactly. I, I heard 
something going on in the stable. I heard this loud <laughs> I took off because I, I was worried about, about our animals. Well, I want to understand from an independent yes. expert, what causes a horse to get spooked? Will they have that reaction when their trainer leaves? These are cross pulls. These are more of a beginner jump, and this is a three-foot jump. Oh. And that's going you forward. being yeah. thrown from that board? Ms. Robinson signed a waiver of liability. I was honestly not given enough time to sign no, the waiver. No, I'm, I'm sorry. We've had multiple conversations. Now, Ms. Robinson, how much time were you given to look at this waiver before you signed it? Not much time. The horse was already tacked up and ready to I'm go. I'm sorry. And that is she not How many the minutes truth. were you given? Because I see... That is not the truth. No. Ms. I Conley, was given five minutes. Ladies, somebody's going to jail today if you all don't let me get to the point. Now, Ms. Robinson, how much time did you get? The whole page takes a long time to read. I only had about two minutes. We stood. We had a lengthy conversation. I so always... We weren't even questions. in the office. I always go through... What are you talking we were about? You're going to put me in the bar. position, huh? We're not going to do that today. Okay. You gave her a legal document. Yes. And you feel like you gave her time to understand it Absolute before she signed it. Absolutely, Your Honor. And if that is the case, Ms. Robinson, then you're bound by that document. I understand that, Your Honor. Ms. Robinson, I need to understand your injuries. Well, I have pins and needles in my shoulder and arm. So it's you actually broken. broke bones? Yes, I broke multiple bones. There's screws in my arm. And I can barely go to work. I've taken so much time off without pay. I see here that your past medical costs are $35,000. And I can't even pay those. And I don't even know what to do. And I'm also... And, you, and you've indicated that you got 5000 more to pay for, for future medical treatment. I just, I don't know how I'm going to do this. You know, I've had a lot of injuries playing 10 years of football. My neck, my knees, my shoulders. They ache. You can call me and ask me when a storm is coming. Is your arm like that? Yes, Your Honor. Well, Every you're, day. you're a young woman. I can imagine this is pretty tough for you. Yeah, it's very hard, so, Your Honor. Christine, I'm really sorry that you were hurt. Sorry I, doesn't I'm, cut it. I sorry doesn't help. I apologize. I feel like I'm never going to be the I've same ever again. I apologize again. And I'm, Look, I know. I feel like my love for horses is taken away. I'm terrified. Ms. Conley, I understand that you feel badly about. I really do. And I understand They're... that you, Ms. Robinson, are going through a nightmare that has not ended yet. But my job is to figure out whether Ms. Conley is legally responsible for this. Absolutely. Absolutely she's responsible, and it was due to But, Ms. Robinson, you, you actually blame the trainer for running away. Exactly. So let's hear from the trainer. You brought the trainer with you. Sir, yeah. if you would stand yeah. by the podium. State your name for the record. I'm Hank Marfield. How are you, Mr. Marfield? I'm good, sir. So tell me, what does a trainer do? Well, basically, I try to put the, uh, put the student through the paces uh, as far as what's expected, uh, proper procedures, the right technique, uh, just the whole gambit. How long have you worked with Ms. Robinson? Uh, Ms. Robinson, about two years. And she was compliant, seemed to be picking up everything, getting better she, every day? She, she was doing well. How long had you worked with her on jumping? Uh, we'd been at it for about four months. On the day in question, did she seem like she was ready for the jump? Uh, from all indications, Your Honor, that's what I saw. You shouldn't have left the arena. Well, did you, that's what did happened. you leave the arena? As, as I was watching her warm up and, and do her routine, uh, I heard a horse in distress. I heard this loud, nee! I mean, it was going <laughs> on and on over and over again. That was pretty good. And so I, I took off because I, I was worried about, about our animals because we got 20-odd you know, horses in there. Did you worry about whether uh, Miss Robinson yeah. was going to be I safe? Mean, in fact, uh, just before I left, I, I kind of pointed to myself like, here I am, I'm going you absolutely to, did not. To let Miss Robinson uh, know you were leaving? Did. No, he did not. Any responsible trainer did would you wait for the jump. All I saw heard was the was the fence like banging as he left. You just look up and he's no, gone. But horses have a peripheral view; they can see everything. So, with him bolting out the arena, there's no. So you had no idea that your you trainer knew. was leaving. No, she I had knew. no idea. She knew. She just said till she heard the. But gate you weren't close. there, right? No, Your Honor, I wasn't. Okay, so you but didn't I, see I this. detected a nod from her, Your Honor, just a slight nod. Okay, so she nodded at you and made you think nod. that she understood you were going to well, leave. That is such a lie. No, that's what I saw. I want to understand from an independent expert. 
So uh, we've got uh, Miss Candy Niss, who's going to come in and talk to us uh, from a trainer standpoint. Well, Sheriff Matt, will you go get Miss Niss? I sure will. Miss Niss? Yes, Your Honor. Could you state your name for the record? My name is Candy Niss. And tell me about your credentials. I have been involved in the horse industry for about 30 years as a trainer. Do you talk to the riders about the disposition of horses, that yes. they're skittish or jumpy? Yes. Some horses are more what we call spooky than others. What causes a horse to get spooked? They take information from all sides of their body. Therefore, it can be many things. I'd like to pull up the video of Miss Robinson's accident. You talk me through this. Yes, her approach is good. Is her form okay? Yes, she's coming in straight. Her upper body is tall, keeping the horse balanced, and her leg is on the horse. Now, clearly, that horse got spooked. Will they have that reaction when their trainer leaves? It depends. It's more the rapid movement than it is the person leaving. And, and Mr. Marfield, did you leave quickly? Uh, I'll admit I got her there pretty quick because I was responding to the other horse that was making the noise in the stable. Miss Ness, thank you so much. You are excused. Thank you. I think I've heard enough and I'm ready to render my decision. The verdict is in. You all have a responsibility if you're going to invite people to your and property he... to have a horse that's well trained, yes, adequately he trained, he and that is not going to hurt people in something out of the ordinary. But the law also imposes upon you, Miss Robinson, the responsibility to take care of yourself. Her approach is good. Is her form okay? Yes, she's coming in straight. Her upper body is tall, keeping the horse balanced, and her leg is on the horse. Now, clearly, that horse got spooked. It is certainly possible that the horse got spooked. I think I've heard enough, and I'm ready to render my decision. In every personal injury case, there are three things that the plaintiff must prove. You, Ms. Robinson, the plaintiff must prove that Ms. Conley was wrong and that her wrong caused your injuries. Now, when I say Ms. Conley was wrong, meaning her trainer was wrong to leave the room, because that's what you believe distracted the horse. You're asking this court to give you $35,000 for medical expenses you already incurred, $5,000 for future medical costs, and then $50,000 for pain and suffering for a total of $90,000. Yes, Your Honor. You, Ms. Connolly, say, we don't know what that horse turned for. Yes. And she kind of knows that horses throw people. This isn't something that was guesswork. Here, you all have a responsibility if you're going to invite people to your and property to have a horse that's well-trained, yes, adequately he trained, he and that is not going to hurt people. But the law also imposes upon you, Ms. Robinson, the equine rule for people that ride horses the law says you've assumed the risk of being thrown. Right. And because yes. you've assumed that risk, you bear the brunt of the consequences, which is being thrown and having a bad injury. Here, it pains me to find against you, but the equine rule says that Ms. Conley is not responsible for your injuries. So I find for Ms. Conley and against you, that is my final verdict, and this matter is adjourned. Yes.